Hey there, guitar players. Welcome to my little every Thursday morning Facebook Live event. I do this, I've been doing it and hope to keep doing it every Thursday morning at 945 Central Daylight Time. So glad you're here with me. Tell all your friends and neighbors and your enemies. Why not? Everyone's welcome here. Uh, today, what we're going to be doing is a walk up from a G chord to a C chord. And then because anything that goes up, can also come down, then we're going to walk back down from the C to the G. So if you're wondering what that sounds like, it sounds like this. Does that remind you of a song? It reminds me of about a million songs. The first one that pops into my head is Lean On Me by uh, Bill Withers, the great Bill Withers. But it's about a trillion billion other songs also. So once you can do this, you're going to find a million places to plug it in. So let's figure out what we're doing here. By the way, if you have never ever done a walk up, or even if you have, you might want to scroll down and look at um, a couple of the past Facebook Live videos we've done because we've been doing some basic building blocks of walk ups and walk downs in the key of G, which is a really logical key to do this in because it's so easy and we just spend so much of our musical lives in the key of G. So we may as well have fun while we're there. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to work from a G chord here and see the ring finger is on the second string right there and your pinky's up there and we're just going to leave them there. And the reason that's helpful is that that makes some really good sort of all-purpose strummable notes in the key of G. So once we start moving around and changing our bass notes, we're going to leave these fingers here and we're just going to put a little strum uh, in between some of our bass notes, okay? So they're going to stay right where they are. Now my middle finger's down here on the sixth string. Maybe you know that's a G note. That's the bass note of your G chord. And uh, so all the fun, well I won't say all, most of the fun in walk ups and walk downs is just notes from the scale because they just sound good all day long. We've loved them for centuries and we're not done yet. So really what we're going to do here is we're going to play notes from the scale starting in G. Now if the word scale makes you think of boring, dusty, technical, I don't think I need that things, you're wrong because that's where all the good notes are. Okay. Uh, it also helps you avoid the bad notes, which might be at least as important. So anyway, here we are. We're going to play this note and then the next note up. We're going to call it two because if this is one, then the next note up is two. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our middle, pick up your middle finger, get him out of the way and pick up your index finger because they might just interfere. The next note, two, is right there on the fifth string open. And the next note, three, is your index finger on the fifth string. And then because three to four is a half step, always and forever in a major scale, you're going to put your middle finger on the fifth string. So let's see what that adds up to. It goes a one, two, three, four. And if numbers make you nervous, let's talk in letters for a second. G, A, B, C. All right. So let's remember, like I said a minute ago, whatever goes up can come down. So then we can go four, three, two, one. All right. Or C, B, A, G, whichever one. Just a little promotional announcement for Nashville numbers or just numbers, period is someday you'll do this in another key and the notes will all be different. The letters will be different. Guess what will be the same? The numbers. Doesn't that sound like really helpful and cool? It is. So in a perfect world, you'll think in letters and numbers. But anyway, let, now let's do that. And we're just going to put a little strum in between and suddenly it's going to sound wonderful. By the way, if you're a songwriter, you should totally write a song with this. So I'm going to play a groove where I play my bass note twice. I've been doing that recently uh, for walk ups and walk downs because that bass note is just where all the party, all the fun is. So I would like to get a double dose of that. So I'm going to go bass, bass, strum, 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 bass, bass, strum. Now you might go, okay, I love that, but it doesn't really sound like 
the Bill Withers song. Well, you have to do it in a certain rhythm if you want it to sound like a certain song. So you could go. Uh, come back home happy ending so listen if you um, if you want to see more first of all scroll down on this page and you will see the last couple of Facebook live videos we've done with walk downs in, in the key of G we're going to move on to something else I don't even know what yet but we're not going to spend our whole lives in the key of G I call that G jail so we want to bust out of that and do something else I would love to hear your suggestions your feedback um, criticisms, complaints, grievances, but best of all, suggestions of what you'd like me to do my Facebook Live event about next week, because I would really like to do something that you're interested in. I have a YouTube channel. I hope you'll go there. Go ahead and subscribe. Why not? There's a bunch of free little mini lessons there, too, and interviews with uh, music biz pros and all sorts of some performance stuff there, so go head on over to the, uh, my YouTube page. Ellen Britton, um, in the uh, description for today's event, uh, there's a link to my website. Also, on Wednesday, May 20th, I'm going to be doing a great little Zoom class. It's going to be called Musical Comfort Food because I need a lot of that, and I suspect that you do too. So we're going to see how many really simple songs we can do in the key of G, and it's going to be fun. If that sounds easy to you, good for you. Join us anyway, and we'll be talking about, well, if G is, if that's too easy, go ahead and put your capo on the fifth fret and play in D or capo on the third fret and play in E, whatever. We're going to, we're going to make the challenge flexible uh, for your skill level. So uh, stay tuned for more information about that. Please sign up for my newsletter. Then I just get to tell you all the things that I think are important for you to know. So sign up for my newsletter as well. All right. Um, I hope to see you next Thursday at 945 Central Daylight Time. So, all right. Stay in the groove, y'all. Thank you.